This is the new, I think, Audi A7 Sportback. And here are seven things you need to know about it. Audi A7 Sportback is in production since 2010. It's sort of, kind of a successor to the 1970s Audi 100 Coupe S. Sort of, because Audi A7 Sportback is a four-door liftback or a four-door coupe, as Audi likes to call it. Looking at the facelifted first generation and the second generation model, one may be excused for thinking they are one and the same. New model is about 10 mm shorter than the old one, but it has about 16 mm longer wheelbase. At almost 5 meters in length, I understand why Audi engineers were not keen on changing the exterior dimensions. And since changes on the outside are almost invisible, also inside there is more or less the same amount of space as in the previous generation. At 535 liters the boot is the same size and thanks to high rising tailgate access to the cargo space is very easy. Like an Audi A6, also here legroom is generous, more than can be said about headroom. For reference I'm 175 centimeters tall or short as some of you like to point out. Go back to school, you muppets. Also, there is not much space for feet under the front seat. In the front, the dashboard looks pretty much the same as in the A6. Virtual cockpit can display your trip computer, sat-nav, multimedia or phone information. By the way, under the A6 review, someone was asking about range being displayed in red. Color only highlights which information group is being displayed and in this case red does not mean you've reached the fuel reserve. The use of red color is unfortunate though. But one of the most important changes in Audi flagships is the new MMI interface with two central displays. The lower display can be used to write a query and the system will match whatever it can find online in satnav or your phone book. It's much better than writing on a small wheel like in lesser MMI versions or BMW's iDrive. Or you can rely on Google Maps. Audi works flawlessly with Android Auto, only then you don't get directions on the head-up display. But I'm sure one day this will come too. Audi A7 is full of new driver aids. It will prevent you from cutting in front of someone. When reversing, it will brake for cross traffic and it will adjust cruise control speed to what it reads from traffic signs, as long as traffic signs are sensibly placed. If there are too many, sometimes the system can get lost. This test car is marked 50 TDI. In mid-2017, Audi has modified its naming schemes. New markings signify power output range and type of propulsion rather than exact engine displacement. So the two digits, 50, uh, signify power output range between 278 and 304 horsepower. TDI, of course, means a diesel engine, but it could just as well be a TFSI petrol motor or an e-tron electric or hybrid vehicle. Now, the engine displacement and the number of cylinders, in this case, it's a 3-liter V6, is no longer relevant. Well, unless it is. What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments section below. Despite the TDI badge, new generations of A6, A7 and A8 are in fact so-called mild hybrids or MHEVs, mild hybrid electric vehicles. Additional batteries charged with energy recuperated during braking or coasting. This allows stop and start system to kick in much earlier and the engine can also shut off completely, so no half cylinder shut offs, just complete shutting off of the engine during coasting at higher speed. Thanks to using MHEV, oh, for example, now I'm coasting, the engine is not working right now. Press the accelerator and back we go. So thanks to using MHEV technology, Audi A7 can save up to 0.7 liters per 100 kilometers. In my test, the car used about 8 liters per 100 kilometers, which is approximately 29 mpg. 
You may have noticed blue elements in the headlights. Apparently, these are blue ambient lights and they are part of the optional HD Matrix LED headlights with laser lights. Besides cute welcome and farewell animation, LED headlights light the road without blinding others. Above 70 km per hour, laser lights kick in and they light the road several hundred meters ahead, again in a way so as not to blind others. All this is anything but cheap. Prices of the new Audi A7 start at 57,500 euro and this test example costs about 115,000. And how do you like the new Audi A7? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't. New episodes every Friday and sometimes on Tuesdays as well just to annoy you. So click that bell icon to be up to date with all the new stuff I post. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.